Good morning, my children, and welcome back to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. Now, for today, my children, we're going to continue with the numerical series from number 20 to number 59. Remember, here in pre-primary, we have to study and to learn from number 1 to 100. Now, it's very important, my children, that even though you finish watching the video, you finish watching your exercises, you continue practicing the numbers constantly. Because if we don't practice it, we, we are going to forget them. And in the future, when we start making additions of subtractions, we're going to get in difficulty. So, we have to study constantly the numbers. I know that sometimes they could be a little bit confusing, but remember, they are not difficult as long as we concentrate, pay attention, and practice it. Recuerden, chicos, que para el día de hoy vamos a continuar con nuestros números del, de, vamos a ver a partir del número 20 al número 59. Recuerden que en preprimaria vamos a aprender desde el número 1 hasta el número 100. Ese es el objetivo que esperamos eh, transmitirles a ustedes esos, esos números. Así es que es muy importante, chicos, que aunque ustedes terminen de ver su video, aunque terminen de realizar sus actividades, es importante que sigan repasando los números constantemente. Porque recuerden que en el futuro vamos a empezar a trabajar con sumas, restas, y pues no va a ser muy difícil que las logremos si se nos olvidan los números. Por eso es muy importante seguir practicándolos. Ahora... Recuerden, chicos, también que eh, yo entiendo, el teachercito entiende que a veces los números nos podemos confundir, pero no son difíciles, siempre y cuando nos concentremos, ¿ok? Y pongamos de nuestra parte para que esta clase sea siempre todo un éxito. Así es que bien concentrados, bien atentos, let's begin. Now, we already know, we already learned, we already review numbers from 1 to number 10. Those numbers, we don't have any problem. Then we continue with numbers 11 all the way to number 20. Now remember, this numerical series, it's called the family of the teens. Why teens? Because all of them, they begin with the number one. Recuerden chicos que el día de ayer también ya estuvimos trabajando con los números del 11 al 20. Recuerden que todos esos números se les llama la familia de los teens porque te, su pronunciación termina en teen y aparte todos los teens empiezan con el number one. Por ejemplo, number 17, number one and number seven. Number 15, number one, number five. Number 11, number 1, number 1. Number 18, number 1, number 8. Okay, so remember, continue practicing those numbers of the family of the teens. Today, we're going to start with the family of the 20s, family of the 30s, family of the 40s, and family of the 50s. Once again, these numbers are not difficult, just let's pay attention, concentrate, and you will see that they are, that, that they are very easy. So, let's begin. Now, the family of the 20s, all of the number 20s, they begin with the number two. La familia de los 20s, todos los 20s que vamos a ver a continuación, todos ellos empiezan con el number 2. Number 2, number 2, number 2, number 2, number 2. All of them, they begin with the number 2. That's why it's the family of the 20s. Now, 2 and 0, 20. 2 and 1, 21. 2 and 2, 22. 
Two and three, twenty-three. Two and four, twenty-four. Two and five, twenty-five. Two and six, twenty-six. Two and seven, twenty-seven. Two and eight, twenty-eight. Two and nine, twenty-nine. So the family of the twenties, all of them begin with the number two. Toda la familia de los twenties, todos esos números empiezan con el number two. Okay? There is no problem. Very good. Now let's continue with the family of the thirties. Now. We already mentioned that the family of 20s begin with the number 2. For the family of the 30s, ¿ustedes qué número creen que va a empezar la familia de los 30s? ¿Con qué número creen que va a empezar? Con el number 3. Very good. That's why it's called 30 of third of number 3. Let's begin. Let's start counting and see what numbers do we need to form these numbers. 3 and 0, 30. 3 and 1, 31. 3 and 2, 32. 3 and 3, 33. 3 and 4, 34. 3 and 5, 35. 3 and 6, 36. 3 and 7, 37. 3 and 8, 38. 3 and 9, 39. Very good. So remember, all, the, all of the numbers of the family of the 30s, they begin with the number 3. Todas las, todos los números de la familia de los 30s, recuerden, empiezan con el number 3. Now, let's continue with the family of 40s. Now, we already saw that twenties begin with the number two. We already saw that vimos, ya vimos that all numbers they begin with all thirties begin with the number three. Now, what number do you think we need for the family of forties? ¿Qué número ustedes creen que necesitamos para la familia de los forties? Number four, very good. Number four. Now, let's see what numbers do we need to make these digits. The teacher Jacob, remember, is watching you, so remember, concentrate, pay attention. Let's begin. Four and zero, 40. Four and one, 41. 4 and 2, 42. 4 and 3, 43. 4 and 4, 44. 4 and 5, 45. 4 and 6, 46. 4 and 7, 47. 4 and 8, 48. 4 and 9, 49. Very good. Excellent. Now, let's continue with the last numerical series of today, the family of 50s. Now, we already learned that all 40s begin with the number 4. Ya vimos que todos los 40s empiezan con el number 4. 
what number do you think we need to form family of 50s? ¿Qué número creen ustedes que necesitamos para la familia de los 50s? Number five. Very good. So remember, all number five indicate that it's the family of the 50s. Recuerden, cuando empezamos con el number five, quiere decir que es la familia de los 50s. Now, let's see what numbers do we need to conform these digits. Five and zero, 50. Five and one, 51. Five and two, 52. Five and three, 53. Five and four, 54. Five and five, 55. Five and six, 56. Five and seven, 57. Five and eight, 58. Five and nine, 59. Very good. So, as you can see, numbers are not difficult. They are very easy. The only thing that we have to do it's to concentrate and pay attention and that's it. Numbers are very, very easy. Como ustedes podrán saber, pequeños, los números no son difíciles, son muy fáciles. Ok? Lo único que necesitamos es concentrarnos, poner atención. Very good. Now, let's make an exercise in which the teacher Jacob will say the digits We'll, we'll say the numbers that we need to conform the, the, the number of a family and you will have to point it, you will have to point it to the, the video to see which one is it. Vamos a hacer ahorita un ejercicio en donde el teachercito Jacob les va a decir los números que vamos a ocupar para conformar uno de los números de estas familias Ustedes desde casita me van a señalar cuál número creen que es el que les estoy pidiendo. Ya que lo hayamos encontrado, lo vamos a encerrar en un círculo. Very good. So, this first number has two digits. Number two and number one. Number two and number one. We put them together. 21 of the family of 20s. 21. Where is it? Estamos hablando de la familia de los 20s. Por lo tanto, es un número que aparece en la parte de arriba. 21. Ok, you are pointing your finger to this direction 21 very good yes 2 and 1 21 let's circle it with color red next number 3 and 5 we put them together 35 3 and 5, 35. Now, this number belongs to the family of 30s. That means it begins with 3. Pertenece a la familia de los 30s. Aquí la tenemos. Ahora vamos a reconocer 35. This one, very good. Three and five, 35, excellent. Let's circle it. Next number, four and seven. We put them together, 
47. Once again, 4 and 7, 47. 40, it belongs to the family of the 40s. Pertenece a la familia de los 40s. Recuerden, todos los 40s empiezan con el number 4. 47. So we have here the family of the 40s in color purple. Tenemos ahí la familia de los 40s. Ahora vamos a buscar 47. Okay, you are pointing to this direction right here. Very good. That's 47. Let's circle it. Next number. Number five and number five, we put them together, 55. Five and five, 55. Now remember, this number belongs to the family of 50s. All of the 50s, they begin with the number five. Recuerden que todos los 50s empiezan con el number 5. So, number of all, uh, the family of the 50s, it's located right here in color blue. Tenemos aquí la familia de los 50s en color blue. Now, let's look for 55. This one, 55. 5 from 5, 55. Very good. Let's circle it. Okay, very good. Now, these were some of the examples, some of the exercises that you can practice at home. Now, it's very important if if we have any parents, mother or father there, es muy importante, papás, si ustedes también nos están acompañando viendo este video, que este tipo de ejercicios ustedes también lo puedan practicar en casita para que de esta forma nuestro alumno pues pueda identificar de mejor manera cada uno de los números que vimos en el video de hoy. Pueden ustedes hacerlo, papitos, de la forma en como yo lo expliqué, de, diciéndole al alumno, number four, Number three, los juntamos 53. Y el pequeñito tendrá que buscar en dónde se encuentra ese dígito. ¿Okay? De esa forma ustedes también nos, eh, nos estarían apoyando a que esta, esta numeración, pues en el día de mañana la, la vamos a completar. En casita ustedes nos pueden ayudar a que sigan practicando estos números para que a los pequeñitos no se nos olvide. Very good. So, the activity of the day, my children, it's part of your teddy book. Se encuentra en su teddy book and it's located, it's located after, after the family of the teens, okay? Now remember, what you have to do is to trace the number, the number in letter, normal letter, and the number in cursive letter. Recuerden, pequeños, que para la actividad del día de hoy, ustedes vamos a tener que remarcar la numeración de family of the 20s, family of the 30s, family of the 40s, and family of the 50s. Tenemos que remarcar los números, números escritos en letra normal y letra cursiva. Remember, teacher Jacob, we don't like cursive letter, but it's important that we continue making these exercises so we can gain strength in our wrist. Recuerden que aunque el teachercito Jacob no le gusta la, eh, la letra cursiva, es importante trabajarla para que podamos tener más fuerza en nuestra mano. Very good. So, that's it for today, my children. The teacher Jacob, as always, is very happy with all your hard work, with all your excellent effort. Remember, practice your numbers constantly. Okay, I trust you that you will do it as an extra homework. Recuerden practicar sus números, repasarlos como actividad extra, como una tarea adicional. Es importante que no lo suelten, chicos. We see you tomorrow with more information, with more numbers. Tomorrow we'll reach to number 100. Para mañana ya vamos a llegar al número 100. 
no se preocupen, sé que los hemos estado viendo muy rápido, pero todos los días los estaremos trabajando para seguirlos repasando. We'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon. Take care. Goodbye.